Congressman Costello, let me start with you. Uh, as a Republican who helped, uh, who, whose party is, is authoring these bills, give us some insight into the compromise measure, because my understanding is it was originally meant to be voted on today in the 5 p.m. hour, but has now been delayed until tomorrow. Will the extra hours hurt or help this bill? Well, at this point, it would have to help it. Otherwise, it's not going to pass. The votes just simply aren't there. In fact, the more conservative bill that we just voted on actually was closer uh, than we had anticipated. The big difference here is on the compromise bill, it's a six-year DACA solution with a green card, and it's $25 billion for border security with that money being released uh, provided that the DACA green cards are available. Uh, the intention was to get Democrats on board. That has not happened, and so this is likely going to be uh, Republicans having to carry the bill on our own, but we do not have the votes right now. The president's tweet today was not very helpful in furtherance of getting more support there. In fact, I think it probably uh, resulted in less support. So there's a lot of question marks going into this afternoon's conference meeting and what the vote's going to look like tomorrow. Wait, Congressman Costello, I just want to follow up on that. Are you saying that President Trump is an obstacle to these negotiations? Uh, I think that the president's tweets today were not helpful uh, to getting more Republicans to vote for the compromise bill. I am yeah. saying that, yes. All right. Uh, Congressman uh, Garamendi, come on in here. I'm wondering sure. whether Democrats, uh, and you among them, are willing to uh, finance the wall that President Trump would like to build in order to get uh, some concessions on DACA, the Deferred uh, Action for Childhood Arrivals Act. Well, we have been, and certainly that was proposed by Senator Schumer some months ago. But let's understand that this is not a compromise between Democrats and Republicans. This legislation uh, that uh, Mr. Costello spoke to really is a compromise within the Republican caucus itself. Uh, well, it's not yet a compromise in that caucus. And so Democrats, no, Democrats at all have been involved in any discussions about what a good bill would look like that would garner democratic support. Clearly, we want to solve the DACA problem. We'd like to go much further than that. We're for border security, but we want that border security to be wise. Uh, building a wall isn't going to solve the problem. There are many, many other aspects to border security that are, frankly, far more efficient and far more effective than building a thousand mile wall. The rest of the story is that there are other things that have to be done. Mm. And one of those is to reunite the children with their parents. Right. It's not clear what will happen to the more than 2,300 children that have been separated from their parents at the border over recent weeks. Uh, we know that officials say they're working as hard as they can to reunite them as soon as possible, but there are no details. There are no clear solutions being put forth right now. Congressman Costello, should any legislation, whether it's uh, authored by Republicans or involves Democrats, address those people first? Uh, I think the answer is no, but not because it shouldn't be addressed, but rather because we do not, and this I'm being critical here, we don't really have an audit on how many children need to be reunited, where they are, uh, what kind of logistics and paperwork was done from a tracking perspective uh, at the time that they were um, separated. So I think the intention and objective of every member of Congress is going to make sure that they get unified, but without knowing what needs to be done, it's very difficult to put something in a bill when we don't know what the solution is. Um, to Mr. Garamondi's point, if, yes. If I might just add to that, uh, you're certainly correct about uh, the fact that there doesn't appear to be information about where the kids are or who they're connected, where their parents are, and, and that's a part of this tragedy. But beyond that, we do know that there is a need for a uh, greater number of men and women in the legal, in the adjudication system. Uh, they're even calling up uh, um, lawyers from the Department of Defense to backfill some of the uh, openings that are there. Yeah. But that has to be taken care of. That's money and personnel, and that could be in any piece of legislation. Yeah, totally, totally agree with that. Yeah. Part of the reason why folks are in detention facilities uh, who have crossed illegally or sought asylum through ports that aren't authorized is because it takes so long to get a hearing. So I totally agree with that point. That's something that can and should be done. Congressman Costello, I'm just wondering, heading into the midterms, do you think that immigration as an issue is going to be helpful or hurtful to the Republicans? 
Well, at this point, if if we if we evaluated at this moment in time, it would be hurtful in those districts that Republicans need to hold in order to maintain the majority. This kind of stuff might be helpful in really conservative areas across the country in terms of prioritizing border security uh, at all costs with the zero tolerance policy. Uh, but. Uh, Separating families as the case was, saying it was Congress's fault, and then deciding that it wasn't and that they can do it on their own. This sort of uh, inconsistent message and not handling this in a way that I think is humane and appropriate is not the kind of thing in a district like mine, which is very purple. Uh, folks are not looking at this saying we're handling it properly, to be sure. Right. Uh, we should mention as well, Congressman Costello is not running for election, uh, so th this is his final term here. Congressman Garamendi, uh, to you now, most or many Americans say they're concerned about illegal immigration and they worry about what happens next. To what extent do you think Democrats in Washington, whether they're in the House or in uh, the Senate, understand that concern? Well, I think Democrats are very, very aware of it. You can't be uh, going through any election in America without addressing the immigration issue, whether you are in a, uh, a perfectly safe Democratic seat or a perfectly unsafe uh, seat, Democrat or Republican. This is a national issue and, frankly, has been a national issue for about two decades now, which speaks to the fact that it's a tough, complex issue and, frankly, one that's been used as a political football by both sides over the course of the years. Now, there was an opportunity six years ago mm. uh, to, uh, to move on this. The Senate uh, had a bipartisan, comprehensive immigration reform bill that uh, moved out of the Senate. It was not taken up in the House. Speaker Boehner refused to allow it to be taken up for reasons that are, uh, I, I guess, obscure, at least in yeah. my mind. Uh, and we missed that opportunity. Will we be able to come back and deal with this in a comprehensive way where you have border security, you deal with agricultural labor, high-tech labor, right. uh, those kinds of immigration cards, deal right. with uh, separation, all of the very complexities? Right. The answer is we must do it.